Okay, this is my latest SharePoint uh, experiment, and it uses jQuery and SP services. So what this is, is a place for, we had a community portal of about 4,000 members who were taking off for the summer, and we wanted a fun way to log in and track where you're going. So you could log in, enter the cities you'll be at, and then see who else is going to be in the area. You can see right away that what I've done is customize the marker, so that has the school logo, just for a little bit of school spirit. Um, so how this is built is on one SharePoint list called Locations. Locations stores the name of the city and then just to show you how this works if you click over here in the input box and let's choose a place like oh, Saudi Arabia and click add a place. What it's going to do is go hit the Google Maps API and bring back the latitude and longitude and then place a marker on the map. Add place, and there's the place, Saudi Arabia. Once that's in the list, um, the latitude and longitude is stored, so there's no longer any need. Each time a marker is loaded, there's no need to go hit the, the uh, Google Maps again. So it loads it once, and then when this page loads, which by the way is just a kind of a standard ASPX page in the site pages library, uh, when the page loads, it pulls in everything from the locations list spits each item into an object um, and then iterates through that array of objects and drops a marker on the map. That's basically it. So it's about you know 170 odd lines of uh, JavaScript, a little bit of CSS, and just a small ASPX page and you can wind up with something kinda cool like this. And so um, each one of these markers drops I think right now about one every 200 milliseconds but I had it down to about every 50 milliseconds and it's actually quite fast um, because it's not hitting the Google Maps API. You don't have to batch in, in you know, batches of 10 or whatever their limit is. You can um, just load all of them pretty fast. So that's the solution. Uh, check out the code and how it was done um, on the link below and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it.